All right, guys, what's happening? It's Trevor from Generation High Output, and today is a really exciting day because I'm going to the Russo and Steel collector car auction for the first time. I've never been there before, and uh, this will be my first time checking it out, so I'm pretty excited. Now, most of you watching this probably have heard of Russo and Steel before. They're a company that specializes in collector car auctions. In fact, Russo and Steel is one of several car auctions that takes place in Arizona every year in January. So what makes this auction different from the other auction events? You might think it's natural to compare Russo and Steel to another event like Barrett Jackson. They're both auctions, they both have tents, and they both have classic cars, right? But they aren't really a direct comparison. Allow me to explain. First, Barrett-Jackson is a huge event with more than 400,000 visitors. It's a lot of fun, but it can also be crowded, especially on Super Saturday. Russo and Steel is a lot more low-key, and you have time to actually enjoy looking at the cars. These two auctions also have completely different formats. Almost every car at Barrett-Jackson is a no-reserve auction, except for a few special cars in their salon collection. Russo and Steel does allow the seller to set a reserve or minimum price which can be good if you're selling a car that you've invested a lot of money in. The next thing I want to talk about is variety. Now both companies are auction houses and their inventory depends on what people bring to them to sell. Barrett Jackson will sell anything from cars to boats to airplanes, but where they really specialize is in American muscle cars. In fact, I did an analysis of Barrett Jackson's Scottsdale 2018 auction and this is what I found. Out of the 1,752 vehicles sold, 1,095 of them were manufactured between 1950 and 1979. That's about 62% of their catalog manufactured in just these three decades. Now they do have some pre-war cars and the occasional Ferrari or Lamborghini that shows up, but the majority of their catalog is made up of Corvettes, Camaros, Chevelles, and Mustangs. In 2018, there were 158 Corvettes sold at Barrett Jackson's auction or nearly 10% of their entire catalog. Walking around at Russo and Steel, I saw what I thought was a more diverse selection of cars. There were definitely more European cars, like this Lancia, and this Citroën. There was something from every corner of the automotive world for sale at Russo and Steel. Finally, there's one more difference between the two that I wanted to talk about, and that is access. At Barrett-Jackson, special privileges are given to bidders and VIPs. They can go in certain areas, like the skybox, and the staging lanes, and in front of the block, that others can't go. At Russo and Steel, every badge is basically an all-access badge. I went right up to the front of the action and it was fine. Nobody said anything. I really liked that aspect of it. With that said, let's walk around and check out some cars. shoulder is a Lamborghini Uraco. It's a super rare car, one of only 21 imported to the United States, and there's almost no one here even looking at it. Uh, most of the people here seem to be interested in the muscle cars and classic collector cars, but this one's one of the most interesting ones here to me. Okay guys, check this out. We've got a Chrysler TC by Maserati, a Mercury Cougar, and a Buick Riviera here, followed by the Cadillac Alante. It's quite an impressive lineup of 90s luxury cars. Check out this crazy custom car. I've actually seen this once before a long time ago at the Scottsdale Auto Museum, which unfortunately is no longer around. 
This car is called the Ice Princess and it was built by Richard Fletcher in the 1980s. It has a Cadillac V8 under the hood, six wheels, and these bubble top canopies from an F4 Phantom fighter jet. It's got parts from Studebaker, Cadillac, and a bunch of other cars. Fletcher also built another six-wheeled car called the Pirate Surfmobile. So what do you think? Is this crazy or what? Okay guys, I'm wrapping it up here at uh, Russo and Steel. Uh, initial thoughts on the auction, or it was really, really cool. Um, good variety of cars, a uh, good mix of uh, old and new, stock and custom, uh, American and foreign. A uh, lot of neat stuff to look at, kind of a really good variety of stuff to check out. Everyone at the auction was super nice. Um, staff was wonderful. Really, really cool event. Uh, smaller than the big competitor, but did not feel like it was lacking in any way. Alright guys, thanks for coming along today as we checked out Russo and Steel, and I uh, hope you had a good time.